Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you how to do health with animation. So uh, it's really a, a cool trick that I've used over and over again in the different types of exercises that I do. And uh, what it does is we are going to play around with the frames of an animation to show how much health you have. So um, what we need to do is make sure you have something that signifies health. And uh, I, I will have a link to an image in the description for you to click to get some hearts if you want to use those. So um, let's go ahead and start. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and add a new layer, call it HUD, because I, I want it to be part of the HUD. Uh, things that we normally would do is uh, make the parallax zero zero, and that's where the hearts are going to be. And what I need to do is also create a quick character, some sort of indicator that I lose a health. Okay, so um, I'm going to go ahead and quickly make that where we have sprites. And so our sprite here is going to be character. So let's go ahead and make a, a quick main character. Well, we're going to go blue this time. And we're going to go ahead and do this. And I'm going to add the behavior of platform and then we are going to go in to the sprite and add a platform for it to land on and then make that a solid for now there we go and then we are going to have something that signifies I lose a life. So I'm just gonna make something that's just red. So I'm just gonna call this, uh, uh, let's just call it um, lava, I guess, I don't know, something. I'm running out of ideas on that name. So uh, we're just gonna stick with that. And I'll just kind of do something like this and it's just more if I touch this red, I am going to lose some health. So maybe it's like a little pool there type of thing or whatever it is. OK, so now I have this and I could now jump into my HUD. And once we grab that file, we're going to play around with the animation and go from there. And now uh, if we're going to double click, let's go ahead and just make that. I'm going to click on Sprite. And I'm just going to call this health meter and it'll eventually go to the top left or so. So I'm going to leave that there. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to click on opening this file and I am going to get my health and I got a bunch of options here. I got one that's like starting with two, one with one. I'm going to grab the one one. I'll have all of these available for you to play with, but, um, once you add this in here, you're going to see this. So let's say you had, you wanted like three lives or something like that. What I do is I just make copies of this and put it next to each other. However, before you do all that, we need to make the width of this a little bit longer. So I go up here to the arrows that are going into to, uh, uh, corners here and click here. And it's going to ask what you want the width to be. So I'm just going to go ahead and do 400 for now. Oops, sorry, I messed that up. We're going to click in here and we're going to do 400, except right here, we're just going to align it to the center for now. All right, so what happens is it made space around it, but it didn't really move this, which is what we do not want to have happen, okay? Now, what we can do is use the selection tool, which is the dotted line up there. It's a rectangular one. You click on that and we're going to just go ahead and select this here. And when you have this hovered, you could use copy paste. So the cool thing is when you copy, you could hit paste and now you have this. The only thing is you cannot move it after the fact uh, easily. So what you want to do is make sure you just grab it and move it to where it makes sense for you. Now, I'm just going to kind of eyeball this. Ideally, you should probably uh, do a little bit more than just eyeballing, but this will work for what we're doing. What is that? One, two, three, one, two, and three. 
it was like three checkered a little bit more like three and a half there we go and then we're gonna go ahead and add the last one towards here so we got one two three and a half ish now that we have the four this is where the fun begins so we have one frame so far so what we're gonna do is i'm just gonna duplicate this frame so uh, and I'm going to du duplicate it where each frame will have one less. So ideally what I need to do is my zero needs to have uh, four and then I go three, two, one, and then nothing. So ideally this should work for what we're doing. And then the easy, this is the part that makes it really fun and quick is now we get to delete some. So click on the one frame and we just got to get rid of one of the hearts. So I just go here to my erase tool and you could easily just erase this just like this and it will wipe that one off. All right. And then you go to the frame two and you do that for two of them and you could do this faster, but this will work for what we're doing. So we're just going to go ahead and do this here and then let's see. And then we have, uh, let's see, where are we at one? Looks like I need to make one more, but nice thing is you could probably have duplicated it after you deleted it. So it's a little less duplication in terms of like how many you had to delete. But since I don't have too many hearts to do, I could just keep doing that. So this goes four, three, two, one, and then this would be ideally just blank. So I'm just gonna erase them all and you can do this. Now, there are other ways that you can do this. If you wanted to create a sprite animation of um, from a sprite sheet or something like that, you could well, import them in that way or whatnot. But this is if you just had like one thing and you wanted to just duplicate it more and more. So now we have something where it starts from four, goes to three, two, one, and then nothing. And that's it. That's all we're going to do for this. We're not going to play the animation or anything like that. So what we need to do is here um, in the animation property, we want to set it to zero. We do not want it to play. OK, as long as you do that, you can click X and I'm just going to place this up here. This is probably much larger than I need it to be. So I'm going to do something like this. That kind of works. Nice. All right, so now I got some good looking hearts over there. Now all we have to do is change that if I touch this red. So let's go ahead and jump into the event sheet. And in here, you're going to click on add event. And we're just going to say, hey, if my character collides with lava, I'm going to lose a health. Uh, and the thing is, we need to know how much health we have. So let's go ahead and make a global variable real quick. And we're just going to call it health and we're going to have four hearts. Okay. Right there. So now in here, when we collide with lava, what we're going to do is first subtract one in our global variable. So subtract from health by one, and then we're going to go to the health meter. And we're going to set the frame of the animation to a number. Now, this is where we have to remember it starts with zero. So if we had four health, which is the zero frame, we and we lose one, three would go into frame one. All right. So it, 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 uh, this is where you get two ways to do it. OK, so. If you don't want to go from zero to, uh, to uh, four, uh, I mean, zero to three or and do the uh, opposite four all the way to zero in terms of your lives, you could switch your frames up so they match one for one. Or in this case, I could just say that I could I want it to go to a particular frame set. All right. But we can't just put one. What we need to do is we need to understand what it is based off of health. So I'm going to X out of this for a second and go back to my layout because ideally we need to flip this. So it makes a little bit easier sense for everybody. So we're just going to move this over here and 
we're going to make it where all this goes in order. And that way we could just say, okay, we're just going to, whatever your health is, we already know what frame it's going to be. And that's it. So this is why I meant you could have done the, the other way, but this way is a little bit easier. So we're just going to flip that up. And then uh, notice how nothing shows up there. That's something that is, uh, you got to make sure uh, you realize you need to then add a new event. So let's go ahead and add that event real quick. We're going to add uh, on start of layout. And in this one, we are just going to say the health meter is set to frame of health. And when we do that and hit play, it's going to show up four. Now it, it slightly got moved off the screen. I'm not sure why. So let's go ahead and place that back there. So now what we do is anytime we collide with lava, we subtract one from health and we just move this here. There we go. So now when I play this, oh, I lost one. Oh, lost another one. Oh, there we go. And there you go. And that's what lets you kind of tweak with uh, using animation to create something that's just, you know, a little bit uh, nicer to see visually. Now, I feel like I had some sort of, I think I missed erasing some areas. So it's always important to make sure you erase everything. Uh, and, the, you know, just make sure you check that. But um, now I have some health and I can go and then you would have a game over screen and so forth. All right. So uh, just to kind of conclude what we did, we really just focused on building this out. So we went from zero being nothing to one, two, three, four. You could flip it. You just got to remind yourself about that. This is a lot easier to keep track of so you don't forget. And doing it this way, you got to make sure your event sheet, you have your on start of layout with health. And I'm just going to move this up so we order it a little better. And anytime I touch lava, subtract one from health, set animation frame to health. And that's it. So I can go out, make really cool uh, little health meters and so forth and have a little fun with it. So that concludes this video. We'll see you next time.